Hi everybody, I'm Dave from Polypad, and in this Polypad pointer video, I'm gonna show you how to use Polypad inside of Desmos Classroom. So here I am at teacher.desmos.com, I'm signed into my free account, and I'm gonna click on custom activities on the left to start building my custom activity. I'll go here and click on the blue button to create a new activity. I'll call this one using Polypad. And here I go. So a number of components to add to the screen in Desmos Classroom. You can see at the bottom, I have a component called Polypad. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna add that to the screen. And here I could build the Polypad right inside of Desmos Classroom. So maybe on this one, I wanna use a balance scale. So I'll add that to the canvas and maybe some dice. So let's add eight dice to the canvas. I'm just using the C button on my keyboard to copy them really quickly. I selected all of them, copy. I can roll all the dice. And maybe in this task, I want the students to um, roll the dice, roll the dice and balance the scale with the dice or something like that. So in this activity, they'd roll the dice and then to split up the dice so the scale can be balanced. I see a six and a six and a three and a three, a five and a four and a one, and then I'm stuck with this three over here. But maybe I could continue and try to balance that scale in a different way. I'm doing Command Z on my keyboard to undo it. I could see this in preview mode, and there is a nice screen with a quick little polypad activity on it. So that's one way you can just build it right inside of Desmos Classroom. As an author here in my teacher account, I can click on this gear and I have all sorts of ways to fully customize this polypad. I'll show you in a few minutes where you can go to learn more about all of these features. But notice in the preview mode, all I have here are the tiles. The students don't have access to that gear to change the settings. That's only in the teacher mode where you are authoring the activity. So that is one way to add a polypad. Just click here and you get a polypad. But perhaps you have polypads saved in your free account at polypad.org that either you built there or you got a link from someone else and you want to include that into Desmos Classroom. So let me show you how to do that. I'm now over at polypad.org. You can see I have all these tiles in the sidebar on the left. But I'm going to go to the tab at the top called Library. And in this library here, I have all of my saved polypads. I have a lot of folders with my saved polypads. But at the very top, there's a folder called Examples. And I'm going to open the Geometry section and go to the one called Pattern Blocks. And so here is a canvas that we have made that just has pattern blocks on the canvas. We have fully customized it. You can see there's no tile menu. There's no option to add more tiles to the canvas. The toolbar has been customized. All you have here are pattern blocks. So here, I'm gonna copy uh, at the top. I'm gonna go to the toolbar in the URL and copy that. I'm gonna use Command C on my keyboard. You might use Control C, depending on what type of computer you have. I'm gonna copy this link with Command C. I'm gonna go back to Desmos Classroom. I'm gonna click on this canvas, which is blank right now, just to activate the canvas. And now I'm gonna paste that link. I'm gonna do Command V, you might do Control V. And when I do this, Command V, there's that polypad. Awesome, and when I go to preview mode, I can see what the students are gonna see, that there's no tile sidebar. All I can do is I can copy the hexagon and maybe copy the triangle and build with pattern blocks. So if you want a really uh, a customized polypad where all you can do is build with pattern blocks, you can go to the example section in Polypad and just import it right into Desmos Classroom. Again, I'll show you in a minute where you can go watch a video about how to fully customize a Polypad canvas like this. The last thing I wanna show you is perhaps you explore our tasks you can go to mathagon.org slash tasks, or if you're in Polypad and you're logged in with a teacher account, again, which is all free, you can click on lessons up at the top and it'll take you to our task page, a growing library of student explorations and lesson plans and more. I'm gonna to go to the one called class openers and math talks. I'm gonna click on this 
And perhaps you want to take the what to cards polypad and embed it into Desmos Classroom. So I'm going to click on this link. I get the polypad and I want to put this into Desmos Classroom. So I'll go up to the toolbar, I'll copy the URL, head back to Desmos Classroom, click on the plus sign, add a blank polypad to the canvas, click on the canvas, Command V, and there it is. And once again, I could preview this. I could see it in full screen. You can see here I've defined the size of the canvas so I can't scroll around. Uh, all the action is gonna just take place in the white space inside of Desmos Classroom. So I'm gonna close this. I can, uh, I can publish this activity and share it with students just like you would any other Desmos Classroom activity. The final thing to show you is um, how to use all of these features under the gear to fully customize a Polypad canvas. You can do this inside of Desmos Classroom or at polypad.org. And the best place to go is our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash mathagon, M-A-T-H-I-G-O-N. You can see it right up here, youtube.com slash mathagon. And we have a number of playlists of what's new on Polypad, a bunch of Polypad pointers. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's a section on tutorials. And there's a video called Changing Polypad Settings. And that will give you an in-depth overview of how to use all of these options under settings inside of Desmos Classroom and on Polypad. We are super excited to have Polypad inside of Desmos Classroom. It opens the door up to all of the amazing features inside of Desmos Classroom, like pacing and pausing and snapshots. So we are looking forward to seeing what you create inside of Desmos Classroom. Thanks for watching.